Christ. I just gotta give it up to Chris Paul and Devin Booker. I mean, I know a lot of Bucks fans are gonna be going, Drew! People are even gonna be blaming Kate Mitty and Coach Bud, but honestly, we could get to blame for the Bucks in a second, a little bit after, but we gotta talk about those Suns because more so than last game, this game, Devin Booker and Chris Paul, they really just absolutely got it done. Last game, I really did feel like it was Bucks versus refs. I really felt it was wild, the t type of calls the refs were making. And I'll be honest, I still do think the Suns are getting the benefit of the whistle, but Devin Booker and Chris Paul, they really just balled out tonight. I mean, every big time, every time, this Bucks team, they're making a run. Yas is going crazy. Getting this lead backed out from like 13, 11 to like a four or five point game. Chris Paul would answer with a big shot. Devin Booker would answer with tough shots. There was Devin Booker especially. Chris Paul, a lot of it is, these Bucks are just not good at defending the switches, not good at defending the pick and roll, so he's just able to take advantage of that and hitting the shots. But And so he's had some tough shots too, don't get me wrong. But with Devin Booker, there's at least five, but there's probably like dang near ten of his shots that he made where it's just like, that's good defense. He's just hitting a great shot. And that's why he's got comparisons to Kobe. I'm not going that far. He's great. I'm not calling him Kobe. But the shots he's making, some of them are reminiscent of Kobe to where it's great defense. He's just hitting a better shot. There's times where Giannis is switching out, getting a great contest onto him. He's just hitting over the top. One time towards the end, Brooke Lopez was forced to get switched out onto him. And I was getting on Brooke Lopez after last game to not getting out hard enough on these switches. And that time, as he was right there on Devin Booker. He just hit a tough step back three. And every time the Suns need a bucket, the duo answer. Chris Paul. He's had some questionable moments throughout his career in the biggest moments. But they came through big tonight. Especially when their third guy, Aiden, who's been, to me, the most impressive player of this postseason. He wasn't so great tonight. The Bucks did a great job on him. But for the Buckaroos, people are going to blame Budenholzer. But we'll, we can start there. I don't know what I would have done differently if I was Budenholzer. I'll be honest. I think it's a thing where if teams are frustrated, especially fans, they just love to blame the head coach. And don't get me wrong. I always talk about Budenholzer is very frustrating. If you've been on this channel, I have blamed him quite a bit throughout the playoffs. But I don't know what I would have done differently. People are mad about, why are we switching Brook Lopez on the point guard? Oh, well, they stopped switching him tonight. And what happened? The uh, Off the screens, help defenders had to come in and stunt at the ball handler or else Chris Paul would have came in and hit wide open middies as they did last game, the couple possessions where they weren't switching. And what happened? The help defenders came in to take away those quick jumpers off the screen. They kicked it out and hit a lot of threes. So you got to pick your poison. They picked it and the Suns just made a pay tonight. And then on the other end, I mean... They, you know, took him out so they didn't have to switch screens. Or they could switch screens and it wouldn't be a problem. They went with my favorite lineup for, to, close the line, to close the game. My favorite lineup for this Bucks when Brook Lopez is sweat, struggling defensively, it's Drew Holiday, K. Mitty, Giannis, P.J. Tucker, Connaughton. Five guys that I don't really think can get exposed defensively. The Suns just still outplayed them. So, you gotta give credit to the Suns, but for the Bucks, Drew Holiday. You played good in the fourth quarter, but you have to understand, man. I'm not going to be mad if you're missing shots. You spoke at least like three layups, but I'm not even going to be so mad at those. If you're taking good shots, I'm not going to be mad. But what I am going to be mad at is when you are shooting atrociously and you keep driving into two defenders and taking fadeaway jumpers. Drew, Bucks fans will give you full credit if you just, even if you just score 10 points, if you just lock up defensively and just take the open shots that are there for you. You don't need to be the creator with this team. Giannis out there just scoring 42 and 12. K. Mitty has stopped up every time the Bucks have needed him. Get the ball in that man's hands. Get him going. Stop taking these bad shots. K. Mitty, I have all the faith that next game he will come through. This has been a consistent theme throughout the postseason. And people say K. Mitty's so inconsistent, and I'll agree with you. Chris Milton, he is very he is inconsistent. I'll give you that. But what you have to say, if, unless you're a K. Mitty hater and you're just not gonna be un, you're just gonna be completely un, uh completely biased about him. If you want to be any type of unbiased. At least this postseason, every time they've needed him to come through, that is when he's been hooping. He's been inconsistent, but his bad games have come in like, you know, the first couple games of a series or like in a game four. But game three, when they were down 2-0 two, two, two against the Nets, man dropped 35. Game six and seven, elimination games, man dropped 38 and was the only player in NBA history to drop 25-5 in like five steals in NBA history. And he did that in the game six and seven. So, K. Mitty, when they've needed him, he's come through. So, the game plan for next game needs to be just keep going through K. Mitty and Giannis. K. Mitty, bring that ball up the floor. 
pick and roll with Giannis to death, as they did in that net series in a game three. And Pat Connaughton, keep playing in big minutes. Have him, yo, open for kickouts when he's left open because he's not afraid to take them. Doesn't hesitate, and he doesn't hurt you defensively. Hopefully, he can get a little bit more Bobby Portis impact next game, although I'm not bad at Boone Holzer for not really playing him because it's tough for him off the switches. But hopefully, at home court, he can make more of an impact. But overall, I just got to give it to the Suns this game. They outplayed the Buckaroos. I still definitely felt like the whistle went to the Suns, and I'm sure there's some Suns fans saying, what are you talking about? You all got more free throws than us. But 18 of the 23 were Giannis when they... He's a 50% free throw shooter, and they're going to hack a Giannis dang near. And the other five, two of them was Jeff Teague and complete garbage time. So it was really three free throws for Joe, Drew Holiday. And Drew, Chris Milton has taken, what, 30-something shots this series now and has gotten zero free throw attempts. There's been at least two times tonight where he got just thrown to the ground with no calls. I'm not saying that's why they lost, but the whistle went to the Suns. And hopefully when the Bucks go home, that changes. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.